Perfect. All right, so you're centered. So first when taking your measurements, one of the first things I like to do is take your waist right. and hip measurements to then pass get your around. waist and hip ratio. When taking the waist measurement, pass the tape measure around the torso, and you want to find the narrowest point, which is usually just below the ribs and just above the top of the pelvis. Try to get the tape measure as straight as possible. For the hips, you are looking for the widest point. So the point at which the glutes stick out the furthest is where you're going to measure. For thigh measurements, try and find either the most middle part of the thigh or consistently measure the widest point. When measuring the neck, put the tape measure just beneath the Adam's apple. When measuring the bicep, get the person to hold out their arm at 90 degrees to the body with elbow 90 degrees. Measure around the tallest part of the upper arm over the bicep and tricep, and then have them flex to get a secondary measurement. Measure both flexed and unflexed. For measuring the chest, go right up underneath the armpits and pass the tape measure around, trying to keep it level. First, get the measurement without inflating the chest, and then inflate the chest as much as possible to expand the rib cage and get the inflated measurement. Be sure to try and get the tape measure as high up in the armpits as possible and as level as possible. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.